Right, today I wanted to talk about a great free tool for backing up your Windows machines. Um, so for anybody not wanting to use the, the built-in Windows backup or want something with a few more options, a bit more powerful, um, the great option here from Veeam is the uh, the Veeam agent for Microsoft Windows. It's, uh, it's free for most situations, so you can do an edition comparison there and have a look at the different options. Uh, the only thing they want from you is when you do click download now, it does need some details from you, um, but then you can download it for free. Um, so once you've got this software downloaded for free, you can install it on your machine. Uh, so over here, I do have a Windows uh, virtual machine here with the um, uh, the Veeam agent installed, but I don't have a backup job configured on this one. Uh, so what you do is you click the uh, top three lines at the top left, the main menu, and then you'd go to add a new job. Um, it needs to uh, make some changes, so we're going to click yes. Uh, then it's going to start up a wizard after it scans your local machine. So here we've got uh, options to create a job, so we can call it whatever we want. I'm fine with calling it Job Proxmox Windows 11. It's just what I'm using on this one. Uh, we're going to click Next. Um, it's recommending that you back up the entire computer, which is what I'm going to do. But you've got some other options there uh, if you want to choose those instead. And you can also tick to include any external USB drives you may have attached uh, to your Windows machine as well at the same time. Uh, so I'm going to click Next. Now this is the destination of where the backup is going. Now obviously backing up to local storage um, is fine if you want to back it up to a USB drive, but if you want to back it up uh, to a shared folder on your NAS for example, um, it does use that as an example there, you would choose the middle option there, so shared folder, and I'm going to click next. Uh, now for the shared folder, I'm going to type in the path to my NAS manually, so I know my NAS is going to be um, called TS-462 and I have a share on there called Veeam so that's what I'm going to do. So first of all you've got to do backslash backslash uh, make sure it's backslashes and not forward slashes um, I'm going to type in the name of my NAS so TS-462 another backslash and then I'm going to do the name of the shared folder that I created uh, for my backup to go. If your um, backup destination is within a folder uh, you can do another backslash and do Veeam backslash backup for example but I'm going to just leave it in the Veeam folder. Now my NAS does have security on it, so I need to tick this box that says this share requires access credentials. So I'm going to type in the username and password that I put uh, on my NAS. So I've done that. And I'm going to click populate to make sure that worked. There we go, two terabyte free of two terabytes. It sensed the space, so that's working correctly. Uh, you can choose how long to keep backups for. There's other advanced options for things like encryption and other things that you can do in there if you want to. I'm going to leave it on default. I'm going to click next. Now the schedule, I'm going to say daily at uh, half past midnight is fine, every single day. Um, you can choose other options if you want, so I'm just going to apply that. Um, it's going to save the backup job. Um, I'm happy with everything that's there, and then you can click run the job when I click finish. Um, so it's now created a job. There's a job in the list. It's saying that the last backup has not yet started, so it's fairly blank. Uh, what I'm going to do now is just a, a little bit of uh, a trickery, if you like. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to turn off uh, this VM, because um, I do have uh, another VM um, that's been running this backup for a, a few days already. So it's going to show a bit more information uh, in the job histories and things like that. So uh, it's going to look a bit more interesting than one that's only been run once um, and waiting for that to happen. So I'm just going to shut down this uh, VM, so that one's now powered off. So I'm going to come over to this other one, and I'm going to start up this uh, this virtual machine here instead. Um, so this one's now going to boot up. Um, so when we've got this one booted up, um, it's going to uh, allow us to log into Windows, and we're going to see the, uh, uh, the Veeam uh, backup software that's been running for a few days going to a, a different NAS that I've got. Um, so here we go. So we'll just log into this one. Okay, so now we're into uh, Windows that has had the Veeam backup and replication running for a few days. So I'm going to open that up. And this is what it looks like after you've had it running for a while. So I'm only keeping the backups for seven days, so that's all it's showing me here. But it gives you a nice little summary of all the different things that have been happening. Um, so this has been backing up um, for quite a while. So here I can come up to the, uh, uh, the main menu bar. And when you click into your job, you get some extra options now. So you can edit the job if you want to change the settings, um, do a separate backup if you want, or you can actually restore things. So if you've accidentally deleted something or there's been a problem, uh, this is where you come in and say restore a file. So when you click on restore a file, 
it's going to basically uh, look inside your backup job, look for the different backups that are on there. Um, here's all the backups that we've been running. Um, so you can see that a full backup happened 13 days ago, and then every other backup has basically been just incremental changes uh, that have been happening. So I can choose to restore any of these backup jobs I want. It's nice, easy software to use. It's very good to uh, set up. And the best thing is it's free as well. So it's a, it's a really good, powerful backup tool. Uh, so we just wanted to highlight out this uh, this tool for anybody that might be looking for a, uh, a nice uh, free Windows backup option uh, from a well-respected company like Veeam. Um, so this is uh, certainly an option that you can consider to use, and it works great with the uh, with the QNAP uh, NAS as well. Um, if anybody has any questions on on how to get this working or anything, uh, please do let me know. I'm happy to uh, to help anybody that's uh, got any problems or can't figure out how to set it up. Uh, hopefully, with that little guide there, uh, that should uh, really help you get it set up. Um, uh, that working on your Windows machine. If anyone has any questions, again, drop it down below in the comments, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. All right, thanks a lot for watching. Bye.